Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's the Flip Flop here again. So, we're going to give you love and flip flop. Now, before I start, check the pinned comments for the Paradise Life shirts. I put the email to uh, Mr. Brandon, who is in charge of the Paradise Life shirts. And um, I also put my email down there so you guys know. People have been sleeping under a rock, don't know about the Super Bowl events coming up, so feel free to hit me up. Uh, so, get ready for love and flip flop. Stay tuned. What's up, friends and family? So I try to do the video outside of Flip Flop, but it's too noisy, too much going on. So we'll do it in my office, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So as you guys know, people keep asking, well, you know, I made comments in other videos about me living with two women. Um, basically, a polygamous relationship, but it wasn't three people together. It was two women basically with me, okay? so. As you guys know, I focus on my happiness, you know. You've seen the motivational video, pardon for the noise. You've seen the motivational video, uh, you know, your happiness is most important. Sometimes you have to be selfish in order to be happy. So for me, uh, backstory, I was dealing with Slim for a long time. Slim and Shorty are their names. I was dealing with Slim for a long time. Uh, I met Shorty. Uh, Shorty had a situation, but you know, we, we, we were still dealing with each other. And then uh, eventually I said, hey, why don't we just all live together since we actually lived around the corner from each other, literally around the corner. And uh, she contacted Slim. They, they knew about each other. You know, I keep my stuff flat out. You know, I have no time for BS. So they spoke and Slim was like, hey, it's better he here with us than out running the streets. You know what I'm saying? So they worked it out. We lived together. Uh, we lived in a small apartment at first. Then we moved to the first red and black house, a uh, bigger apartment. Uh, so basically what happened was this. Shorty has issues, mental issues. And you know, people say, oh, someone's crazy. Shorty actually sees a psychiatrist now. I had to get her some help because uh, there's a lot of issues going on and things that I couldn't help her with, you know. So in the relationship, Slim was there first, obviously. Shorty came later. They both loved me. I loved them both, you know what I'm saying? If, if there is such a thing. Um, and so through all the ins and outs, I found out later through my own ignorance, because I'm like I said, I'm being happy for myself, that they didn't really like each other that much. Or more so, they had animosity towards each other. Each one wanted to be number one, but they know they both were with me, you know? So if that makes sense to you. So basically what happened was, um, there was a lot of little little minor fights here and there, not amongst them. They they wouldn't fight with each other, they'd fight with me. You know, when they, when they were kind of not feeling each other, one of them would come at me at my neck, and things were just like, wow, I didn't know what was going on. You know, so long story short, I hate saying that so much. Um, they left a couple times. I told you guys, some couple times I was like, listen, we got a clear house. I need my happiness. My house is my castle. You know, my castle is, is, is my foundation of my peace, you know. I'm not the type of person that's gonna come home to stress. I deal with stress all day long. I'm out, out and about doing, doing what I do, and I'm not gonna come home. When I come home, all that stress is gone because that's my relief. So when the house starts feeling tense, hey listen guys, you guys gotta kinda move on. So they left a couple times, came back a couple times. And, and it's a process of like a, a, almost two years now. So um, Slim finally decided, listen, I had enough. I'm going to get my own spot. You guys be good. So I helped, helped set Slim up with a spot. She, you know, she's uh, got her own spot now. Weird because she actually now lives in the, red, the old red and black house. Like I said, this is a novella for real. <laughs> so um, Shorty kept leaving. Like Shorty has a thing where she runs. Okay, so like I said, she has mental issues and something from her past, whatever the case may be. You won't get too deep into that. So Shorty runs a lot. So I can tell you right now, Shorty has bounced from the crib probably 20-something times. And my friends who know me, they know, I, I speak on this. I'm like, hey, 
it is what it is. Cousin Felix knows she leaves, she comes back, she leaves, she comes back, she leaves, she comes back. She has to clear her head. So she's real jealous because she knows Slim was always there. So she's jealous of Slim. Slim is jealous because she feels Shorty is more my type of female, light skin, uh, the way her way she's shaped or whatever. So, you know, they have their animosity towards each other. Well, as you guys know, I had a son with Shorty, Gregory Seven. Um, he was born. And uh, Slim, of course, wasn't happy about that. But not to be outdone, I ended up having a daughter with Slim later on. And so now I have two more children, Gregory Seven and Grace. Uh, so the child with Slim kind of put like a real heavy burden on Shorty, you know. And, don't, you know, you guys may be judgmental, but listen, I'm living with two women. You know, we, we, we've been together for years. It is what it is. They ended up both getting pregnant, you know. Um, so that's, that's what happened with that. And Shorty kind of took it real hard that, you know, Slim, Slim got pregnant. And plus, she knows Slim's always going to be there. Uh, for those that don't know, Slim ha handles a lot of my business for me as well. So that put a lot of strain on things. But me being me, I'm not going to stop my happiness because of your stress. You know, I understand sometimes I can be selfish, but as I said, if you don't realize, sometimes you have to be selfish in order to be happy. Your happiness should be number one. Number one priority, everybody else's happiness, secondary. So as the case may be, Shorty came back. She said, listen, I want my family with you, but Slim got to go. I said, I can't, you know, I can't call that because one, you can't be trusted to stay. You know, I don't, I don't think Shorty's ever stayed more than three months, ever, in our entire relationship, even when things were good. Um, and Slim is dependable. So Shorty said, listen, let's get out of this crib because this crib reminds me of Slim, da, da, da. So I said, I'm going to go get another crib because that's what I do. I said, it's got nothing to do with you because I can't depend on you. So I moved. Now, where the story gets funny is Slim moved into my old crib. I had no idea about this. So, as I said, Shorty's obsessed with Slim. She follows on Instagram. She's always watching her. She's looking at every little picture and everything and seeing what I'm doing. So it's not funny, but it's funny because I've never seen a person so obsessed with another person before. Um, so she sees that Slim moved into my old crib. She goes ballistic. I mean, loses it. Steps to me like, hey, da da da. I'm like, listen, first off, I don't do the drama. Second off, I don't even know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I have like no clue what you're talking about. So she flips out, she leaves again. Biggest thing with, with Shorty leaving is my son. I enjoy being around my kids. You know, I have two kids that live far away, but they're both in school. So I speak to them on, on uh, video chat, but I don't get to see them as much because they're in school, which is cool. You know, uh, Gregory Ford just popped up the other day. I saw him recently, but he's back in school now because school starts again tomorrow on uh, the 7th of January. So the reality is my other two sons, I don't get to see as much because they're in school and, you know, school takes a lot of time and then they live on the other side of the country. So now I have Shorty here with my son and she disappears and she's nearby, somewhere nearby when she does disappear and I don't know where my son is at. You know, Slim, I always know where Slim is at. I always know where the baby's at. I always know where she's at. You know, so... That's one of the only thing that bothers me about the situation. So basically, all you guys were like, oh man, it's so great you live with two women. It's not all it's cracked up to be. As you guys know, I come at you guys with the realness. I gave you the horror stories because yes, I live in paradise, but it's not all peaches and cream every single day. There's other sides to this. You know, there's levels to this, you know. Um, there's, there's other things that go on that you don't know about. That you know, it may look good from the outside. Oh, he lives with two women, he's doing it. But that's not always the case. You know, um, it's not the first time I live with two women, but this situation is just different because the longevity of the situation and now that kids are involved is, um, is something that just, you know, I have two women that I care about deeply, but also I care about myself. So I have to take a step back sometimes and analyze life for what it is. You know, so basically the way it turned out was Slim lives in one crib now, my old crib. Shorty's back and forth between my crib and a friend's crib, she, she has not committed. I'm kind of not, I kind of don't want to live with nobody right now anyway, so I have not committed to live with her again. We we spend time together, me, her, and my son. But uh, 
She does not live with me right now. I enjoy living alone, you know. Um, I hadn't lived alone in a while, so now I enjoy it again. Uh, so, you know, at the moment, we're still dealing with each other as adults. I still see both of them. Um, what will happen in the future, I don't know. So basically, this is Love and Flip Flop, Volume 1. I keep you guys updated on what I've got going on. Uh, but, you know, I give you a peek into my life. I mean, this is all real, all raw with me, you know. Um, some guys say, hey, don't put that out there. I said, man, I already put it out there. People are asking, hey, what's up? What's the, what's the follow-up to it? And this is the follow-up. You know, we did live together for, I believe, two years. Um, they both left, and Shorty came back. Slim left, and then Shorty came back again. And as I said, she's gone numerous times. So now I live alone. Slim lives alone, and um, Shorty lives with a, with a friend of hers. So, you know, I mean, things are okay. It's just mentally it could be draining dealing with these women, any women, period, but mainly these women, especially a woman that has um, deep-rooted emotional issues. You know, I have issues with my own, but I don't take it out on nobody. You know, if you've ever seen, luckily you've never seen me mad, but if you've ever seen me mad, I go off. You know, my mouth can make a person back down. I don't really got to be all aggressive and all that because I, I get loose with my mouth because I, I get angry. You know, so I try not to get angry. I try to live peaceful. And I, I'll tell you something I told Shorty about three weeks ago. I live on an island. I can't swim. But I live on a beautiful island. I'm not here for stress. Just like I told you guys before when we were talking about haters on it. I'm not here for that. I've, I responded to it. I responded to trolls or whatever the case may be. I enjoy it. Um, but I'm not here for that. I'm living an amazing life. I'm enjoying my life. So if I have to deal with stress on an island, I might as well go back to New York. Why deal with stress? So basically, that's Flip Flop. Love and Flip Flop, Volume 1. Um, that's the story of Flip, Slim, and Shorty as of right now to this date. Hope you guys enjoyed it. More to come. It's not, it wasn't going to be that much adventurous. I hope you guys didn't expect an adventurous story. It's just the facts of what's been happening between the three of us. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm enjoying living alone again right now. So will I live with anyone else again? I don't know. I'm just enjoying my freedom. Uh, but stay tuned for more I got coming up. You guys enjoy your day. Today I will be in the neighborhood to all the local barrios giving out toys and stuff. That's what I do. Um, I don't, don't like mentioning it, but some guys when I listen, you should mention it. Guys can donate. Next year you guys can donate. This is my money, my give back, my way of giving back that I've done for six years in this country. Um, so the 6th of January is Three Kings Day. That's their actual gift-giving day. Our Christmas is not gift-giving day to them. That's when they have family and um, dinner and such.